The world is progressing towards a digital nomad lifestyle, and these remote jobs will pay you an insane amount of money. Well, let's look at nine of the highest paying remote jobs today. Starting at number nine, we have web developer. Average salary, $78,000. A web developer is an in-demand position in basically any organization you can think of. Many businesses are anxiously looking for seasoned web developers to keep up with their ongoing needs for web development. And because of this, web developers earn an insane amount of money. Working as a web developer undoubtedly has many wonderful benefits as web designers enjoy a great deal of time, freedom, and mobility while earning this much money. And when it comes to hiring a web developer, many businesses favor one who has knowledge of a proficiency with HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, Ruby, Python, and other programming languages and frameworks. According to the U.S. labor market, it's estimated that web developers with five or more years of experience make an average salary of $78,000. This makes web development one of the higher earning remote jobs. Going into web development will land you one of the higher paying remote jobs and launch you into a career that is in demand if you have programming experience or are prepared to learn at a coding boot camp. Next, we have project manager. Average salary, $83,000. A project manager is a company employee who supervises particular projects. Project managers are responsible for carrying out significant managerial responsibilities throughout the course of the project management process. The roles involve developing a project's plan, getting it off the ground, carrying it out, keeping an eye on it, and moving it forward. To begin a job as a project manager, you must have completed a bachelor's degree in business management. On the other hand, it also varies greatly based on the kind or classification of product manager you want to be. You can be an IT product manager or a product manager in the food and beverage industry, for instance. You would need a unique strategy that meets your goal because the possibilities are endless. If you do not have a bachelor's degree in this field, you can also get the adequate knowledge by undergoing boot camps and attaining the relevant certifications. At number seven, we have accounting manager, average salary, $89,000. Another well-paying remote job is the managerial role in the financial sector, where many remote companies are actively looking for experts to boost their financial output. The primary responsibilities of an accounting manager typically include supervising the day-to-day -day activities of the accounting team keeping track of and analyzing data, producing financial reports, and handling all general management responsibilities for the company's financial and accounting sector. Accounting managers usually have advanced degrees and hold a variety of qualifications in the finance industry like CMA, CFA, or CPA. A bachelor's degree in accounting, finance, or business management is often required to be considered for this position. Number six, product designer. Average salary, 95,000. Product design is the process of creating a digital or physical product. The process is generally based on research and involves keeping the user's experiences in mind. A product designer is someone who is in charge of overseeing the entire design process of a product or the enhancement of an already existing product. A product designer may come up with ideas for addressing present problems, getting feedback from key players, serve as a liaison between designers, engineers, and researchers, and assist in creating wireframes and prototypes for mockups. They are aware of the smaller aspects required to accomplish their larger aims of the product while comprehending what they are. In recent years, software and applications, as well as other digital goods, have come to be associated with product design. However, the term product design can also be used to describe the design of tangible items like furniture, electronics, and other manufactured commodities. The latter type of design is also called industrial design. A key element of design is understanding what a client wants to accomplish, their pain areas, and how a product makes them feel. Wireframing, prototyping, performing research, and testing product features are examples of technical skills that you need in order to be a product designer. Some tools for prototyping include Figma, Principle, and Framer. Next, we have a cybersecurity analyst. Average pay, 99700 Cybersecurity analysts are network and information technology professionals who guard an organization's hardware, software, and networks against cyber criminals and hackers. These hackers intend to cause harm or steal vital and sensitive information or data. Furthermore, the cybersecurity analyst works on creating protocols that could be utilized to stop and respond to cyber attacks. An extensive knowledge of malware, cyber attacks, and online criminal activity are usually requirements for a cybersecurity analyst employment. These attacks are actively predicted and prevented, and the strategies and approaches might differ depending on the workplaces and organizations, 
but the broader idea stays the same. A cybersecurity analyst is a technical position that necessitates a unique skill set. For one, you must have a solid understanding of networking concepts as hackers frequently target the computer network of organizations. You must also be proficient in computer languages like Python, JavaScript, and SQL. In today's digital environment, data is crucial to the workflow of an organization. Therefore, understanding how to secure data against unwanted access using techniques like data encryption, key management, hashing, and tokenization is crucial. Additionally, in order to stop and prevent cyber attacks, cybersecurity analysts need a deep understanding of the various hacking techniques. At number four, we have Digital Marketing Manager, average salary $102,000. Digital marketing managers are in charge of implementing, supervising, and managing digital marketing strategies that help an organization's mission by reaching a larger audience and increasing their exposure. Increased sales, donations, or community interest and involvement are the results of their effort. To get a good job as a digital marketing manager, you should have a diverse set of skills in data analysis, social media, search engine optimization, also known as SEO, and email marketing. Additionally, proficiency in current and emerging technology platforms and tools, as well as a foundation in traditional marketing strategies, might also be a plus. A digital marketing manager's job description includes a wide range of duties. However, their main duty is the advancement of the digital assets of their company and creating opportunities to generate sales. Digital marketing managers are responsible for brand awareness in the digital sphere in addition to creating marketing campaigns that advertise a business or a service. They target consumer and business leads in addition to managing social media projects, directing website traffic, and other. And which of these skills do you have now? Comment down below. Next, we have software developer, average salary $114,000. Software developers use a variety of tools and skills to design, program, create, deploy, and maintain software. Additionally, they contribute to the creation of software systems that power devices and networks and maintain the functionality of those systems. Meeting with clients to ascertain the requirements for a software solution may also be part of their job, which will help in the creation of the finished product. Many different industries use software developers today, and some software developers even work as freelancers. The devices and applications used in practically every industry are powered by some form of software, so most businesses, including defense, healthcare, sales, aerospace, and manufacturing, all use software developers. A software developer's duties often involve supervising software programming, testing software during various stages of development, planning software design, creating models or diagrams to illustrate the intended outcome, and planning future software updates. A bachelor's degree in computer science or closely related discipline may be required for decent software developer positions. JavaScript, HTML, CSS, Python, Java, SQL, and C++ are the programming languages that are mostly required for a software development gig. Number two, DevOps engineer, average salary $114,000. The second highest paying remote position on the list is the DevOps engineer position. DevOps engineers collaborate with a developer team and other relevant IT professionals to close the gap between each business unit and create a seamless flow throughout the organization. In its many DevOps job sectors, the primary responsibility of a DevOps engineer are code release management, quality assurance, software development and testing, security engineering, and achieving automation and orchestration of tools. DevOps engineers reduce complexity by bridging the gap between actions required to quickly change an application and tasks required to maintain its reliability. Development and IT operations teams may have different skills and goals. Developers want to add new features to an application, whereas operation teams want to keep an application stable after it's released. Now, DevOps is all about process unification and automation, and DevOps engineers play an important role in combining code, application maintenance, and application management. And now last, but definitely not least, the highest paying remote job today is data scientist, median salary $115,000. A data scientist is an analytics expert who is in charge of gathering, analyzing, and interpreting data in order to support decision making inside an organization. The role of a data scientist includes aspects of many conventional and technical occupations, including those of a mathematician, scientist, statistician, and computer programmer. It entails putting scientific concepts into practice together with the use of sophisticated analytics tools like machine learning and predictive modeling. 
in order to develop and test hypotheses, draw conclusions, and analyze things like consumer and market trends, financial risks, cybersecurity threats, stock trades, equipment maintenance requirements, and medical conditions, data scientists frequently have to work with large amount of data as a part of data science initiatives. A very high academic background and strong technological skills are prerequisites for becoming a data scientist. 88% of data scientists have a master's degree in computer science, social science, physical science, or statistics in addition to expertise in coding, database systems, and computer languages. However, you can still get these skills if you dedicate the time to learn them in boot camps or online courses. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel to never miss any more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.